Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. There we go. Hello. Uh, welcome and uh, uh, to a wintry uh, uh, England. It's uh, been snap. Hello, Nico. Oh, uh, it's been. Uh, well, it's been snowing here, which is quite. You know, I understand that. Uh, people on the continent and in America who get a lot of sound. That was a dog hitting his head on the radiator. Come on. He hasn't had a walk today. It's a bit miserable here. Um, the uh, We've had a lot. We don't get much snow. And uh, I understand that uh, Travis was saying he sort of shoving feet. We, we only get inches here. But it's such a surprise that... Uh, that people kind of overreact to it. To put it mildly, um, the uh, I lived in Scotland for many years, and uh, we used to get quite a bit of snow up there, and uh, people took it in their stride a bit more. But as I say, down here, uh, it's uh, a c unusual occurrence, so people kind of uh, overreact to it. Um, so I'll try not to over. It's snowing. <laughs> It's, uh, right. Well, I'm smoking in my, my new Liverpool, my new James Upshaw Liverpool. I'm smoking, uh, I'm smoking some Highland Sliced. I, uh, I've been trying to get hold of some Reva plug for um, quite some time now. Clive, since before Christmas, this is that's my tobacconist. Uh, he's been promising to uh, get uh, get some in, but as yet still hasn't. So uh, it, I uh, got fed up. Really, uh, I'd love to show you the packet. Um, it's it's blended by Orlix, uh, so a name you'll all probably be familiar with, and um, it's what uh, Dub in the Dam would call a Lakeland. Though I should imagine if you're living in so you'd call it the the, the 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 heathers and so on of the of the uh, of the Highlands and the Grampians and so on. Um, it's uh, an aromatic, therefore, but not a. It's not ferociously aromatic. It's uh, a very gentle. I mean, you know, funnily enough, it does kind of, uh, it does kind of, um, taste a little of the, of the Highlands. I can see, you know, the heathery kind of taste to it. It's, uh, it's very nice though. Um, because it, it's, it's not too overpowering, so if you don't like a, a, a really very strong aromatic, this might be the one for you. The tobacco-y, it's a strong taste, though. It's uh, it's a thick flake. Now, I'll just show you this. This is my, um, this is what I keep my flakes in. It used to be a coffee jar, and um, what I did was I washed it up and took the label off. Now, a little advice, if, I mean, these things are... That's perfectly adequate for keeping flakes in. It keeps them, them uh, fresh and whatnot. Now, obviously, if it's had coffee in it, in the jar, it will taste a little of coffee if you're not careful. Unless you quite fancy having a <laughs> your flake tobacco uh, tasting of, uh, I think that was Dow Egberts, who, strangely enough, used to be importers of tobacco. I don't know whether they are now, but they used to do coffee and tobacco, which I think was quite the norm. Um, uh, I find if uh, you, and I, I found this out by mistake basically because I'd been keeping tobacco in a little plastic pot. Now to be honest with you, I know some people say, well the plastic flavours it, uh, it never had that effect on my tobacco, I certainly couldn't taste the plastic or anything like that, but anyway, I, uh, I'd stopped, I'd bought some little metal steel polished steel jars for my tobacco so I no longer but I'm a great believer in not chucking things away simply because uh, their one use has come to an end so I kept hold of the 
do these plastic little plastic pots. Anyway, I made some kind of dish involving tin tomatoes. I didn't need them all. So I just put the first thing to hand. It was this old, which did still smell of tobacco. The plastic didn't impart its flavours to the tobacco. However, the vice versa. So it still smelled. Now I put these chopped tomatoes into this thing and thought, oh dear, they're going to end up tasting of, uh, uh, of uh, I think it was black cherry. Something <laughs> like that, tobacco. Strangely enough, I didn't. I left them in there for a little while. Checked again, and um, no smell of tobacco. So I, when I washed this up, I basically just sort of I would chop a very cheap tin. I think they're about 17, 18 p over here. Um, tin of tomatoes, swooshed it around, left it for a little while, and lo and behold, these coffee aroma. coffee aroma was gone and um, and uh, I was able to keep flakes in there and, and as I say you know it's uh, it's reusing something it didn't cost anything other than the cost of the coffee which I drank and enjoyed I would have thrown it away so and it's perfectly ad adequate um, and that's about just under 50 grams in there at the moment now I'm going to show you the flake it's as you can see quite dark and quite thick it's a robust flake um, I as most some of you will know only have the use of one arm I fold the roll them up and then fold them in half and sort of the, the thicker the flake I have to say I do struggle a little bit uh, getting the flake folded uh, decently but uh, yeah it's um it's a nice tobacco. As I say, it's a, it's it's tobacco. It's um, robust. I think is the is the is the fair word. It's um, good strong flavour to it. The the tobacco is a stronger flavour than the aromatic. The the Lakeland aromatic is is a, is a light. So you really you it's a it's um it's a jolly good smoke anyway. Um, yeah. So. I, I, I would recommend it. As I say, I, I'd ordered... Uh, I, Clive has just not got in this... Uh, this bloody reverb plug, excuse my language. It's, uh, I've been waiting a while for it. I do apologise for that outburst. Um, it's uh, it's uh, just not come. So as I say, I thought I'd, I've tried these before. quite like them. And as I say, this is a perfect little chimney-type pipe to smoke them in. Um, well, anyway, yeah, so there is a little review of, um, of uh, Highland Slice. Uh, on a final note, um, people have been uh, doing little film reviews. This is not so much of a film review, but anyway, the other night, I rather like uh, German Expressionist Cinema, the sort of like 20s, Murnau and others, and uh, I hadn't watched the film for a long time. Uh, the film Nosferatu, uh, by uh, directed by Friedrich Morin, and uh, I was watching it, and uh, a fantastic shot of this chap. This enormous pipe. I don't mean enormous uh, uh, pipe friend, enormous, you know, those rather large sort of pipe. But this thing, it sat on the floor. And it sat on the floor. I, the only other time I've seen one of these, when I was studying divinity in Scotland, uh, I uh, looked at a book by Albert Schweitzer whilst I was uh, st studying, and um, uh, he uh, was a pipe smoker, and uh, there's a picture of him as a young man, uh, as a student, with this uh, enormous pipe, and as I say, the actual bowl sits on the floor, and uh, uh, you know, the stem and whatnot comes up from the floor, so uh, anyway, I uh, hope I will find you well, not snowed in and so on, but uh, cheerio.